guess that you're a you're a fan of Stanley Tucci, I think. I, I do enjoy what I've seen of Stanley Tucci. What's your favorite Stanley Tucci role? Nope. No, no, no. 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 Nope. Can, is that too hard to ask? Too hard well, to say? Well, I mean, it's just one of those things that I, I, I would be able to come up with an answer, and then as soon as we finish talking about it, I'll take a breath and have another one. You'll remember, like, four other things he was in? Yeah. Exactly. You know, I could say my favorite thing was the last thing I saw him in, which was an interview he and Colin Firth did. <laughs> so your your favorite work that would be hilarious if your answer to who what's your favorite work by this person? Oh, oh the, the last press tour. The yeah, last press tour they did. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You have to watch the third leg of his European press tour when he was supporting. Devil's Wear, Devil's Wear Prada. That's, That's right. where you see the true Stanley Tucci come out. Because he don't give a fuck at that point. It's great. I feel like Stanley Tucci is one of those guys that is like like an everyman. Like, he plays good roles. Like his his Devil's Wears Prada character next to his big knight character are different fucking people. Yeah, so he, he's not like pigeonholed exactly. into one type. Well, he like was in you, Hunger Games. He was that yeah, fop. Exa- right? Well, that's the thing. You you look, you're like, ooh, it's Stanley Tucci. But you, it's it's what did he do with this? It's not yeah. you're not going. Ooh, it's Stanley Tucci because it's going to be Stanley Tucci doing something. I mostly no. remember him as that German guy who made Captain America, Captain America, basically. Yeah, no, the he pivotal was, role. Is, Erskine. Erskine? Erskine. 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 Yeah. Abraham Erskine. Well, Stanley Tucci was born in 1960. He's an American actor, writer, producer, and former fashion model. Did you know that? I did not. I did he not. was involved in acting from a young age. He made his film debut in John Huston's Pritzy's, Pritzy's Honor in 1985. Oh, wow. Did you ever see that movie? So long ago, dude. In 96, he made his directorial debut the same year as the Flag Day Barbecue. He made his directorial debut with the cult comedy Big Night, which he also <laughs> co-wrote and starred in alongside Tony Shaloub. <laughs> he also played Stanley Kubrick in the television film The Life and Death of Peter Sellers. <laughs> For his collaboration with Meryl Streep in Devil Wears Prada and Julie and Julia, he gained further acclaim and success with such films as Easy A, Captain America the First Avenger, Margin Call, The Hunger Games film series, Spotlight, and Beauty and the Beast, and Supernova. So I don't know most of that. Did you see Big Night? I so long ago. But you don't remember it. But you like I mean, it? I remember good? it. It was two brothers arguing over a dinner, but this like saying dinner with Andre was just two guys talking at talking at a meal you know yeah. there's more to it it was just you know big okay. night is one of those movies that proved to me that i'll never have a complete movie collection and i should just give up on the dream of <laughs> physical media there's no more physical media you don't have the physical thing anymore well no yeah like i i i at the beginning of the pandemic i kind of went nuts are you fucking accuser get the fuck out of here you Excuse fucking me? accuser <laughs> um you motherfucking accuser yeah. get the fuck out of here yeah. and i just started like <laughs> grabbing shit like i was panic yeah. buying and i just i yeah. got my i got it to the point where i was like i i i'm i'm done i can't i can't Did you have I this have... feeling that you were gonna you thought maybe this is the collapse of society and I'll be stuck Dude, somewhere with DVDs no. only. Uh, no, I've, I've felt like it was the class is going to be the collapse of society since we were kids. dude. <laughs> like that's, and, that. and we all know Gwen Lorenzen is to blame for that. No, 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 no. no. All right. Back to Stanley Tucci. Tucci was born in Peekskill, New York. Peekskill, the home of facts of life. Right? I, 
I, I'm gonna say I'll I'll say sure, yeah. He attended no. John J- John Jay High School, where he played on the soccer and baseball teams. Tucci then attended State University of New York at Purchase, where he majored in acting and graduated in 1982. Among his classmates was fellow acting student Ving Rames. Oh, it, and yeah. it was Tucci. It was Stanley Tucci who gave Ving Rames, born Irving, the name Ving. We went to college together, and he gave me the name Ving. My real name is Irv Ving, Stanley Tucci. Nice. Stanley Tucci named him Ving. I've always wondered where, where Ving Rames, what kind of name is Ving? I it never thought sense. it was part of Irving. Yeah, I know. It made sense when I found out that his name was Irving. It's like, oh. And I Better never than Irv. Once, I never once in my life would have thought that Stanley Tucci named him Ving. No, no. If you would have, if you would have said, "Hey," but you don't know who named Irving Rames Ving, I'd be like, "No, Stanley I'd, fucking Tucci." I'd be like, "Fucking Stanley Tucci." Stanley That's Tucci amazing. did. And now you know that. Now all of our viewers know that. We all know Stanley Tucci named Ving Rames Ving Rames. Also, you may wonder, hey, you left Irving Levine out here. Irving Levine. Irving R. Levine. Well, Ving Rames' parents named him Irving after Irving R. Levine. Now you know two things about Ving Rames that you didn't know before. Stanley Tucci called him Ving, and he was named after Irving R. Levine. Levine, Levine, Levine. So we know who, two new things about Ving Rames, and they both have to do with his first name. <laughs> Carlos Summer here.